On this YouTube channel, you will find videos uh, for people that are beginners in quantum grammar, intermediate, all the way to advanced. And sometimes you'll find them all mixed in in one video. This is going to be one of those videos. It's geared toward the beginner because although I've done some very basic syntax videos, such as the video I did where I, I syntax the book and I give closure on what tangible contract and non-tangible contract terms are, there are some other even more simpler things that I have not given closure to that I feel are important after some recent discussions uh, with some of my students and confidants. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to illustrate the way one would read something. Now we know if you learned English and you went to a school system in North America somewhere that taught English, you start on this side, which would be considered the beginning of the sentence, and read this way. This is reading forward through a sentence. Now, I'm a vessel. I'm looking at this. My vessel's port side is here. My vessel's starboard side is here. So I'm reading from the port side toward the starboard side. Left to right. That's how I'm reading it. That's how we read numbers. So I'm reading this collection of numbers here. One, two. One comes before two because one is the first one that I see going in a straight line this way. And then the next number is two. So two comes after one. One is before two. One is in front of two because one is the first one I come to. And then I come to the next one and it's two. Same thing, three, three, four so on and so forth. We say a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is a particle of negation. Because E comes before V. E precedes V. A vowel in front of a consonant means no. So now in this sentence, we start from port side and move towards the starboard side. The way forward is this way. So when we syntax it, if we syntax it backwards, we would syntax way, which would be two, this, which would be one, is, which would be four, forward is three, way is three, the is one. That's going backwards. But when we read it, we read it forwards. So it looks like this. And that is a dangling participle verb. So that's how we read. And we read correct sentence structure the same way. Start at the beginning, which would be here. Left to right. So how would we read this? For the audit direction of a vessel's site migration is, with the port side start, of a writ word sentence, with the site transit, of the starboard side direction, with this study guide by this claim. Backwards for this claim the study guide is with the starboard side direction of the site transit with a writ word sentence of the port side start with a vessel site migration for the audit direction, meaning for the reading direction, but reading is no contract, so I use the word audit in this case. There's your closure on that. So we might as well go through the correct sentence structure of it. The cause of this claim is the audit direction. What is the audit direction concerned with? A vessel's site migration. Where is it moving to? Now we drop our verb of the thinking in, is, because we have our two facts, 
two points. We can draw our straight line, drop our verb in, keep going along that same straight correct line into the possessive of the claim, which is with the port side start. What is the port side start concerned with? A writ word sentence. Another possessive with the site transit. What is the site transit concerned with? The starboard side direction of the site transit. With the study guide by this claim, which is the authority. Backwards for this claim, which is the cause now of the study guide, because the claim is concerned with this study guide, this entire video actually. We have our two points, we drop our verb of the thinking in, is with the starboard side direction. What is the starboard side direction concerned with? Of the site transit, the movement of your eyes, where is it going? The possessive with a writ word sentence. What is that sentence or writ word concerned with? The port side start, meaning it's where you start. You start on the left side. With a vessel site migration by the audit direction, which then becomes the authority of the whole thing, it's all about the direction we're reading. And this is closure on that direction. And I'll just throw a quick syntax up for you. And of course, that's a pronoun. And Numbers, as you see, here's a break and the continuous of the evidence. So these are all pronouns Why are they pronouns? Well, first of all because the commas separate them as breaks in the continuance of the evidence and also they have not been positioned by a position lodial phrase so as uh, other teachers like to say, they are not pre-positioned. What does pre mean? It comes before. So you need something to come before this for in order for it to be a fact. Otherwise, we're just assuming, oh, hey, it's a number. But there is no assumption or presumption in correct sentence structure. So to correctly position a for, we would do it like that. And I put the tilde there to denote that it is a location. Or, of course, you could just say, for the four, which also works. I hope this has been helpful to you in uh, learning correct sentence structure. If you have any questions on the grammar, and only the grammar, Feel free to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to do what I can to answer your question. Thank you for watching.